welcome students today we shall study about circle and its parts circle and parts of circle take a coin and draw a line throughout the outer edge of the coin then you will get a round shaped figure with the help of pencil or pen pen when we draw line around the outer edge of the coin then we get this round shaped figure this round shaped figure is known as the circle or take a bangle draw a line throughout the inner edge of the bangle this is the bangle inside the bangle draw a line throughout the inner edge of the bangle then remove this is also the round shaped figure this is known as the circle or take a compass with a minimum radius then place the sharp edge of the compass on a point on the paper then draw one circular array now th this circular array when it completes it is the round shaped figure this is also known as the circle all these round shaped figures are known as the circles this is figure 1 and this is figure 2 this is figure 3 in the figure 1 2 and 3 there are many points on the circle there are lot of points on the circle so like this there is a point exactly middle of this circular figure now this point which is exactly at the middle of the figure it is known as the center of the figure center of the circle similarly this is the round shaped figure in this round shaped figure there is a point exactly at the center this is known as the center of the circle similarly here when you draw a circular diagram with the help of compass on the paper this is the circle in this circle this is the point where the sharp edge of the compass the point where the sharp edge of the compass is placed on the paper this point is known as the center of the circle and it is represented by the letter o now this is the fixed point and this line it collects all the points on the plane from a fixed point o with a constant distance so collection of all the point collection of all the points from a fixed point with a constant distance is known as the circle now one question arise what is circle collection answer collection of all points in a plane from a fixed point with a constant distance is known as the circle collection of all points from a point from a fixed point with the constant distance the figure so often is called the circle in figure 1 2 and 3 all these are 
the circles the point o is fixed which is at the middle of the figure and this is known as the center of the circle in figure 1 2 and 3 o is the center of the circle in figure 2 this is one of the circle o is the center of circle let us take a point p on the circle point p is on the circle now with the help of pencil and scale join o and p now o is the fixed point and p is the point on the circle now the distance between the center o and the point p on the circle this distance is known as the radius of the circle now in this figure o a e o p o p is the radius of the circle in figure 2 o is the center p is the point on the circle op is the radius of the circle the radius of the circle now question arises what is radius of circle what is the radius of circle answer the distance between the center and the point on the circle is known as the radius of the circle the distance between the center and the point on the circle is called the radius of circle in this circle draw a line passing through the center o and that line should touch the circle at two points now the line segment ab is drawn inside the circle this line segment ab is passing through the point o and touch the circle at two points a and b this line aob is known as the diameter of the circle line segment ab passing through center o passing through the center o and touch the circle and touch the circle at two points a and b therefore a o b or ab is the diameter of the circle is the diameter of the circle now the question arises what is diameter of the circle what is the diameter of the circle a line segment which passes through the center of the circle and touches the circle at two points is known as the diameter of the circle in this circle ab is known as the diameter now on this circle take another two points let us take this point p this point as x and here take the point y now join x y now the line segment which joins the point x and y on the circle is known as this line segment is known as the chord of the circle this is xy is known as the chord 
Now the question arises: What is chord of the circle? A line segment which joins two points on the circle is called the chord of the circle. In this circle, A is one point and P is another point on the circle. Now, the distance between A and P, this curve line AP, this is one part of the circle. AP represents one part of the circle, and this AP is known as the arc of the circle. Similarly, B is one point on the circle, and P is another point on the circle. now b to p this pb curve line this pb curve line is known as the arc of the circle similarly ap is the arc this curve line ap is known as arc this is ap this ap curve line is called the arc of the circle because This is a part of the circle with two end points. AP is the part of the circle with two end points. So our so the question arises: What is arc of the circle? What is the arc? The part of circle with two end points is known as the arc of the circle. What is arc of the circle? The part of circle. The part of circle with two end points is called the arc of the circle. In this circle, O is the center of circle, P is the point on the circle, and similarly, take another point Q other than P. This is the point Q. Now join O and Q. when you join o and q now op is one radius and oq is another radius op and oq are two radii of the same circle and pq is the corresponding arc now this shaded area is bounded between the two radii op and oq and the corresponding arc pq so this shaded region this shaded area is known as the sector this is the sector now oh, this is known as the sector of the circle so our question is what is sector the area bounded between the two radii and the corresponding arc of the circle is known as the sector of the circle question what is sector answer the area bounded between the area bounded between the two radii and the corresponding arc of the same circle is called the sector of the circle now in this circle xy is the chord and this curved line xy is the arc the straight line segment xy is the chord and this curved line xy is the arc the area bounded between this arc and the chord this area bounded between the arc and the chord is known as the segment this e this area is known as the segment now the question arises what is segment the area bounded between the chord and the corresponding arc arc is known as the segment of the circle what is segment of circle the area bounded between the chord and the corresponding arc the corresponding arc 
is called the segment of circle in this circle xy is also the line segment which joins the two points x and y on the circle similarly ab is also the line segment which joins the two points a and b on the circle now we call ab as the diameter and xy as the chord so ab is also called as the chord but the chord ab is the biggest chord in the circle therefore the biggest chord in the circle is known as the diameter our question arise which what is the biggest chord in the circle answer is the biggest chord in the circle is the diameter which is the biggest chord in the circle diameter is the biggest chord in the circle the biggest chord in the circle in this circle let us mark the point yes this is the point yes and here mark the point z point s is inside the circle and the point z is outside the circle therefore the point s is said to be it is the interior point s is the interior the point z is the exterior whereas the point p is on the circle y is on the circle q is on the circle x is on the circle and the center o o is the center of the circle it is interior similarly s is the interior whereas z is the exterior so students now you have studied the definition of circle and the parts of the circle definition of the circle question and answer written here and parts of the circle parts of the circle are point radius diameter chord sector and segment similarly interior of circle and exterior of the circle so till now you have studied about the circle and the parts of the circle